Good morning, friends. Yesterday, we completed an activity that required us to wear different types of clothing, yet to complete the same activity. What we're going to do right now is we're going to read a story together. After we read that story, we're going to see if we can connect what happened in our story to the activity we did yesterday. And then we'll see if we can connect both our story and yesterday's activity to the mystery of how we can help keep our ice pops cold, even when they're taken out of the freezer. The Midden, a Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. Once, there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit snow white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, Baba warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens, so finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, First, I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being once to argue with someone covered with prickles. They made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the midden, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the midden and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the midden. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy midden made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots and lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the midden all plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The midden swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled onto the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear... Tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, ah, choo! The force of the sneeze shot the midden up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was his lost midden silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow-white midden, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. 
and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Okay, friends, let's think about this. Why do you think that the mitten was a good place for that mole to burrow inside? What was the temperature of the air like outside of the mitten? What did the mitten provide for that mole? When you did your jumping jacks yesterday, you did your jumping jacks wearing your favorite summer clothes and then your heavy winter coat. After you finished your jumping jacks, which time did you feel more warm when you were wearing your summer clothes or your heavy winter jacket? Your heavy winter jacket, right? How is your heavy winter jacket similar to the midden that these animals were finding comfort from the cold temperatures inside of? What do you think?